How is all my cousins doing today? Good, because your girl is back with another video. Today, you guys, we are creating a one-pot dish, okay? A one-pot dish, and it's going to consist of some greens, some tomatoes, and some onions, and some beans, and some chicken breast. That's right. You heard me, you guys. This is a comfort food. It's a southern food, and it's all in one cook crock pot, okay? So... What we have is some chicken breast, okay? And this little seasoning on it is the paprika, okay? And we also have our onions and our tomatoes. You can use whatever onion you choose to use, or you can use uh, whatever tomato you would like to, you know, use. So we also have a can of pinto beans. Now keep in mind, you can use any bean that you like. I like to use northern beans with it, and you can also use the dry beans, but you will have to put a pre-boil on those beans, okay? But uh, also, this can of beans, I will be rinsing the juices off of it, one would say, okay? And you will also need a can of tomato paste. So make sure you get a can of tomato paste. And I'm also using some mussels and turnips this time. I have used collards in the prior, and I have used kale. These greens of your choice will make this one pot meal tremendously good. Tremendously good. And I also have some seasoning. So we got some onion powder. We got some black pepper. We got the Larry seasoning salt. And we got the garlic salt as well. We have a little paprika because I'm going to put uh, enough on some more chicken breast. And we also have some uh, seasoning by McCormick. M McCormick, you know, I never could pronounce this right. Okay, so don't get at me in the comments, okay? So, yeah, if you're ready for this video, you guys stay tuned. So, guys, we're back. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is warm your crock pot to high. Okay? This is warm, you guys. So, I'm going to put a little, little uh, non-stick in there of your choice. I thought it's not going to stick. That's just what I prefer to do. We're going to put our onions in here. And we're going to make it to where they all are down at the bottom. And we're going to cover the bottom as much as possible. You guys, can you guys see? Hmm, let me get that out of the way. Bring this in a little bit more. Okay, so we're going to spread the onions on in here, you guys. When I tell you this meal is a go-to, it really is. And with the cold weather, you guys might want to try this meal. And we're going to put some tomatoes right on in here because this is our bed. Mm hmm I tried this meal, you guys. This is so delicious. And I felt like I wanted to bring it to the channel. So if you're viewing this video for the first time, thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. And yeah, come join your girl. So we're going to put us a little garlic at the bottom. I'm going to put a little onion pepper. I mean, not onion pepper. Onion powder. At the bottom, Larry seasoning salt at the bottom, and some black pepper. 
because we want the onions and tomatoes to have some seasoning on it. That's right. So our next step is to put our beans. Like I said, keep them rinsed. And put that layer there, you guys. Now our next step, we're not going to season the beans because it's already sitting on seasoning. We got mustards and turnips and we're going to stuff them right on down in here. That's right. Now we all know our greens make their own water, right? Right. So we're going to stuff them right on in there. You can get in there as well. So we're going to take our chicken and we're going to put some black pepper on it. We're going to put some black seasoning. Some onion powder. Some chicken seasoning. And there's something I'm gonna take. Okay, we're gonna massage that seasoning right on in there. Yes. We're gonna work that seasoning on in that chicken breast. And we're gonna pound it. Just like that. Mm-hmm. Gonna pound it just like that. We're gonna pound it just like that. Make it all thin. There you go. Now, we have some water in our tomato paste. Because, like I say, greens make its own water. And so now we're going to apply our tomato paste. Now I know some of you guys saying, wow. But wait till you see when I come back. I think that's enough paste. What do you guys think? Now, we're going to let this cook for approximately six hours. Okay? Get that last tomato paste on there. Like I said, I love the kitchen. I am no pro, you guys. By all means. But I enjoy cooking. And we're going to cover it. Like I stated before, crock pot should be on high. This meal should be ready within six to eight hours. But meantime, let me show you guys. There you guys go. We'll be back when this meal has come to an end. So, you guys, we are here. And like I said before, you guys, and well, maybe I didn't, but you guys do not stir this pot of food. Okay, look how tender that chicken is. Okay. You guys, look how tender this chicken breast is. And your beans, and you got your onions, and you got your tomatoes. Yes, you have it all in one bite. Let's try it. Delicious. We have a, as some call it, whole cake. Mm, mm, mm. We have our greens. So yeah, you guys, try this comfort meal. Mm. And you is guaranteed to like it. And love it. 
and enjoy it. So, sending much love from my house to yours. Like, comment, and share this video with any and everyone. And like I said before, or if I didn't, you guys, once you layer all the flavors, do not stir your pot. Just let it continue to cook on its own. And each layer will cook to perfection. So, yes, you will enjoy this meal. So, until then, sending much love from my house to yours. Mm -hmm. Bye.